Hey everyone! So, keeping true to my promise, I am making a video today about the MSAR. Um, so, here it is. I have it. I've marked some schools. I've officially gone through it. And um, for those of you who don't know what it is, it is uh, put out by the AAMC, the uh, Association of American Medical Colleges, every year. Um, and basically, it's just a giant book filled with all of the um, medical schools and data about them. Um, MSAR stands for Medical School Admissions Requirements. And um, I know that like there's like a bunch of schools, or not schools, a bunch of books and bookstores that give you like guides to medical schools. Like Newsweek has one. I don't know. I think... I have one maybe by like Kaplan or something. I have two that aren't official. But like I just chose to get this because um, it's the most up to date. It's probably the most complete. And it's actually by like the people that control medical school. So I just kind of decided to go for this. I figured it would be my best bet. Um, so basically what it has is I'm gonna go to the table of contents. So you open it up and there's this like huge table of contents. It doesn't just have medical schools in it. It has, um, just, it just talks about, you know, what kind of school is for you. There's like little essays about what kind of options you have. Um, then there's, then it talks about how you go through medical school from like pre-med through medical school and licensing and stuff like that. Uh, there's a whole chapter on the pre-medical uh, preparation. Then it talks about how you apply. It talks about, um, then it gives like tubs of like data and graphs and stuff about MCAT performance, people who, like what kind of majors apply to medical school, gender, age, stuff like that. Um, there's a diversity chapter. Uh, there's a chapter that talks about um, what they look for on your application. So there's like personal characteristics letters of evaluation and recommendation, um, academic ability, interviews, stuff like that. And then I guess there's a chapter, I didn't look through this chapter, but I guess it's, um, it talks about people who got in and gives you data on them, so pretty much where they're from, um, you know, orientation programs, stuff like that. I don't really know what that is. I didn't really look through that part. Then there's something about financial aid, um, combined programs like MD, PhD, MD, uh, then they have, there's like one MPH too. Some people have combined programs for that. Um, another chapter about MD, PhD programs, uh, Canadian medical schools, et cetera, et cetera. And then you go through and the first thing before you actually get to the schools is they have, um, if any of you are still in high school or low in college, like maybe like freshmen, they have some, um, they have like a list of like, not a list, but they have like pages on schools that have like early acceptance programs. So, oh, that wasn't it. The pages look like this. Um, And it just talks about, you know, that's like if like you get you like get in early, like you apply like your sophomore year, and they take like your high school stuff into account what you have so far in college, and it's conditional. Like if you were to get in, they like they could still theoretically kick you out. And a lot of them you don't have to take the MCAT. I almost considered doing one, but it wasn't a school that I really felt like I wanted to go to. So even if I had gotten in, I still wouldn't really have wanted to go there. So I decided against it. And then you get to the medical schools, and that's the page I showed you before. Each medical school has pretty much a full two pages. And like it starts straight off with Alabama, and it just goes straight through every state um, in alphabetical order, and gives you pretty much anything you could need to know about the medical school. That's just like preliminary info. So you have, you know, general information, whether it's public or private, um, who the head people of the school are, mission statement, um, information about their curriculum, information about the USMLE, which is uh, 
I think it stands for United States Medical Licensing Exam. I'm fairly sure. Um, then selection factors, what they're looking for, financial aid, whether they give good financial aid, um, whether they have a good, di or just not good diversity program, but whether they have one, what they do for to increase their diversity, things like that. Then it talks about like where the campus is, what it's like, um, how many people are enrolled, what special programs they have, whether housing's avail available, and if there's satellite campuses, it may talk about that. And then it talks about um, what service they use for the primary application service, which more than likely, except for like Texas, it's and like I think Johns Hopkins is AMCAS. Um, when you can first apply, the deadline for applying, secondary applications, fees, the MCAT, um, whether it has an early decision program, uh, deposits, about how many people will be going, um, when they start, how they interview, whether it's like, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, group interview, medical student interview, stuff like that. Um, whether they have like other programs, whether they have combined degree programs. So for instance, Alabama has, um, it has a baccalaureate MD program. It has an MD MPH program. It doesn't have an MD MBA program. It doesn't have an MD JD program and it has an MD PhD program. And then it tells you what courses are required, what courses are recommended. Um, and then it has what their average GPAs were, their average science GPAs, and their average MCATs broken down by section of the MCAT also. And they also circle it in comparison to the national average. Um, and then it has how many applications they got, interviewed, deferred, um, and then how many accepted and matriculated. And then that also is broken down into resident, non-resident, and international. And then it talks about the demographics, it breaks it down by race, um, talks about how many, ma like what kind of majors they had, so like science and math majors was 74%, um, and then it talks about what specialties their students go into by percent, and uh, how much the school costs, and that's pretty much it, and it goes through every school, like this is the rest of it, and um, it also includes Canada, so if you're interested in going to medical school in Canada, this book also has that. So yeah, I pretty much just went through and picked, I think I have, I have 17 schools marked right now, and these are schools that, I haven't taken my MCAT yet, but I picked them based on what I think I'll get on the MCAT. Um, what I kind of think my GPA will be, stuff like that, come this summer. Um, I will obviously reevaluate based on what I actually get on the MCAT and what my GPA actually turns out to be. But the good news is, is I think I have 17 schools in, and the thing is, I don't even want to go far. So it's not like I just picked random schools, like I picked schools that um, are like pretty much in the region I want to go to. So, um, yeah. So this is what it looks like and if you go on amc.org you can order this and it comes with, um, well you, it doesn't come with, but you can choose to get the official guide to the MCAT. And so yeah, this wasn't the most exciting video, video ever, but if you didn't know what the MSR is, now you do. And uh, I hope this was somewhat helpful. Um, if you're not about to apply to medical school, I wouldn't say to buy this right now. Um, I would wait till like the year before you're going to apply because then you'll have the most up-to-date information. So like this is the information from last year from the people who apply. <laughs> okay. So this is the information from the people who are first years in medical school now from when they applied. So. The people who are applying now, this isn't those information for them, but it'll be useful for me when I apply this summer. So, if that makes any sense. Okay? So, um, I will hopefully be back within the next week or so with some sort of update on how classes are going. So far, so good. And I'll talk to you later. Okay? Bye!